the GameCube isn't a console that I played much when it was released. It wouldn't be until much later that I would finally get my hands on one. The console uses a unique optical drive that plays these tiny DVDs, and like most optical drives, they are a point of failure, especially as these consoles age. Thankfully, the folks over at Black Dog Technologies made an optical drive emulator which replaces the GameCube's aging DVD module with solid state media. Let's take a closer look. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Tito and welcome to another episode of Retro Renew. Today I got a pretty simple yet extremely useful mod for the Nintendo GameCube. This is the GC Loader PNP, or Plug and Play, from Black Dog Technologies. They're the folks responsible for making other incredible mods such as the DC Digital and PS1 Digital, both of which I covered on this channel. Now like most optical drive emulators, this allows you to play your GameCube library directly from an SD card. Additionally, the GC Loader is compatible with Swiss, which is a versatile software tool that allows you to play games in ISO formats as well as load homebrew games. It is extremely easy to install Swiss into the GC Loader, which I'll be going over later on in the video. Now I'll be installing the GC Loader into this GameCube. Wait, not that one. This one. This stunning Spice Orange GameCube was very generously donated to the channel by John from Game Over Customs. I've always loved this color variant and never thought I would actually own one. John actually specializes in reviving old retro consoles and games much like me, but he provides send-in services for console repairs and upgrades. So if you're nervous about tackling mods like this, perhaps reach out to John and see if he can help you out. So again, big thank you to John and Game Over Customs. I'll have a link to their social media in the video description below. All right, so I wanna start off by showing you what's included in this kit. Then I'll demonstrate how to install it into the GameCube, go over the installation of Swiss into the GC Loader, discuss the key features of the mod, go over the pros and cons, and of course provide you with my overall thoughts. So again, I'll be installing the GC Loader into this Spice Orange GameCube. This is a DOL-001 model, but the GC Loader is also compatible with the DOL-101. And here is the GC Loader itself. This small PCB will emulate the bulky DVD drive. Here you can see it uses a standard full-size SD card. And here is the FPGA that makes all the magic happen. The only other thing included with the GC Loader kit is a small set of three machine screws and a washer. Now thankfully, this is an incredibly easy mod. All you'll need is a 4.5mm game bit and a Phillips screwdriver. There is absolutely no soldering or cutting required, which is fantastic. The mod is so simple in fact that I don't even need to do a voiceover for the tutorial like I usually do. So sit back, enjoy the music, and let me show you just how easy it is to install the GC Loader.
So that was an incredibly simple install. Without going any further, you can simply load an ISO file of a game onto an SD card and start playing. But if you want the luxury of a nice menu system and some other great functionality and features, you'll want to install a piece of software called Swiss onto the SD card, which is also incredibly simple to do. Let me show you how. First, take your SD card and format it into FAT32. If you're using a Windows machine and your SD card is fairly large, you may need to use the SD card formatter software. On a Mac, you can simply use the Disk Utility app and format it into Microsoft DOS FAT. Once your card has been formatted, go to the Swiss GitHub webpage, which I'll have linked down below. Download the latest version of the software, which in my case is the R1086, as of the making of this video. Go ahead and extract the file, and then open the folder. Then find and open the folder named ISO, and you will see three different files. Each one corresponds to a specific region. Since my GameCube is Japanese, I'll copy and paste the NTSCJ ISO file to the root of my formatted SD card. If you're modding an American GameCube, then copy the NTSCU ISO file. And of course, European GameCubes will use the PAL file. Great, once the Swiss file has been copied to your SD card, simply rename that file to boot.iso. After that, you can now copy over your games. You can choose to organize your games into folders if you'd like. After all your games are loaded, simply eject your SD card and insert it into your GC loader. It's that easy. Okay, great, now let's go over some of the features of this mod. Since this video is primarily discussing the GC loader itself, I won't go into all the features of the Swiss software. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below and I may do a follow-up video. The GC loader by itself can play ISO files without Swiss although it is a bit more clunky and not as polished. Because the GC Loader utilizes solid state media, it can actually load games faster, which is awesome. The fact that this is a plug and play mod is fantastic since all you need are just a couple tools. So now let's go over the pros and cons. Starting with the pros, first and foremost, the plug and play nature of the mod means anyone can do it. Its well thought out design is exactly what I would expect from Black Dog Technologies. As I mentioned prior, its ability to load games quicker than the original DVD drive is another great thing about this mod, since it doesn't have to rely on a laser constantly seeking data from optical media. Additionally, as with all ODEs, this mod brings a great deal of convenience. The GC Loader puts your entire GameCube library at your fingertips. This also allows you to preserve your collection of physical games, which admittedly are becoming quite expensive. The GC Loader also supports Swiss, which I've mentioned before. It's a fantastic, versatile tool that adds a great deal of features to the GameCube. Now, let's quickly go over the cons. The only one I could think of is that since we had to remove the old DVD drive, you won't be able to play your collection of physical games. You'll need to have another unmodified GameCube for that. It's not a huge deal, it's simply the nature of ODEs. Now, other than that, there really isn't anything bad about this kit. It's simply fantastic. As I slowly convert all my disc-based consoles to have ODEs, I'm finding that this is the way I prefer to play my games. I'm really glad I have one for the GameCube, and perhaps now I'll be able to catch up on some of the titles I've missed and see what makes the GameCube such a fan favorite. So there you have it. The GC Loader from Black Dog Technologies, an amazing ODE for the Nintendo GameCube. As always, I'm curious about what you all think. Will you be installing a GC Loader into your GameCube? Definitely let me know by leaving a comment down below. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Macho Nacho Productions. I release content every Thursday, so be sure to turn on notifications. And as always, see you next time.